editor. We'll do Jesus Rocks. I love this spoof thing we do with the phones now, but it takes forever to dial all these numbers. You just couldn't make this up. There we are. It's a Saturday afternoon, and there's this massive wildfire in Northern California. That Sounds causes about right. a power outage, yeah. and that knocks all Yahoo chat rooms offline. So for like nine hours, the perverted justice decoys couldn't do their jobs. Not only was that a problem for that day, it Makes created a, a problem big booty. for the next day because the decoys Makes said, Papa. couldn't make dates for Sunday. No. Oh. So this had a very serious impact on our investigation. Hey, Matt. <laughs> Angel. Where are you at? After the <laughs> date is made, and the hey, I'm twelve. Says he's in fact coming Please come over. over. They always have a follow-up phone call. So we kind of have a better sense of when these guys are going to show up. Pib talked to Matthew Cogburn and kept track of Cogburn copy. Uh, as he got closer to our hidden camera house. Walking up the walk towards oh, the door. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Chef Daniel and Seth. She may not even open the door. Eat, eat, eat. All right, now back up, back up, back up. He's right there. Keep going. <laughs> Wait, they actually used kids this season? Typically, they use okay. adults. Just take a seat, because if I don't put this in the fire, it gets really wrinkled. I'll get in a lot of trouble. Come on into the kitchen and take a seat. I even need some sweet tea. I'll get it out. All right. Cogburn wanted a blonde. Nice little bit snap, Emily bro. isn't naturally blonde. So we had to improvise and come up with a blonde wig for Emily to wear. Uh, to be seen at the door when Cogburn shows up. Man, Chris Hansen really wanted to accommodate this guy. Here? Well, the road that I was looking for didn't, didn't show up. My fault with the directions. No, no. I got directions off my computer. No, don't trust the computer, Cogburn. Syntag... Sint gag guy? What does that mean? Why don't you have a seat there and uh, get comfortable for that? I had a feeling what was going to happen. You had a feeling what was going to happen. Go ahead, sit down, please. No, I, I, well, no, this is, I need to talk to you about a couple of things, and I think you're going to want to talk about it. It's going to take a few minutes, so why don't you have a seat? I used Cogburn to love cargo shirts. immediately shorts. recognizes me. It was one of the first investigations where we were seeing a number of guys no, not at who all, had Nana. seen previous to Catch a Predator investigation. Dark Souls is hard. And had shown up and stayed and chatted anyway. Is this going to be on national news? I'm sorry, be on what? Is this the national news? All that yeah. Stuff? Yeah. Which one are you talking about? No, oh, we're doing 13 or, or NBC. NBC? Yeah. You mean like Dateline NBC? Yeah. Okay, I need you to keep your hands out of your pocket for just a minute. Go ahead, please sit down. I, um, I've just been on the road two hours. Okay. What was your plan here today? I, I can't answer that as I <laughs> want to because I've been in a struggle myself with what I want to do because I'm, I'm still a virgin and I just... Yeah. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Stupid, uh, Just talk stupid. about God or how something. Why is this called Jesus uh, Rocks? 22. 22. And how old was the girl you were chatting with? Uh, the girl said she was 13 or 14. 13 or 14. And you thought that it would be okay to come over here and visit. Yeah, but Chris, he's a, he's a virgin, he said, so, home? you know. I wanted to think it was okay, but I just... Now, I'm looking at this chat log. 16 minutes into this discussion, you ask if she can do deep throat. Explain <laughs> No reason to explain I saw it once online, and then I asked about Goatsy, and she said, control, what the fuck is that? Or are you sticking with condoms? Here's a guy, looks like the kind of guy anybody would be, you know, happy to have their daughter date. You look what? at his MySpace page. His hero is God. His motto is Jesus rocks. Nice. You got toys? My space. Is, is there any... Um... Well, I want you to uh, square that with what's on your... Thanks, the Prime. My space website Reese, where you talk Reese about Joey. Jesus rocks. That's the struggle I'm in. And in heroes, God, duh. Oh, to well, to be fair, though, well, Chris, like... That on I mean, if the Catholic Church, Church has NBC, taught us anything, there's it's not mutually exclusive. Adults who try to meet teens online. 
If there's anything else you'd like to tell us, we'd like to hear it. Otherwise, you're obviously free to be on your way. As I'm finishing my conversation with Cogburn, I ask if, you know, there's anything else he'd like people to know. You know, he turns and says, Be careful. Keep your jeans in your jeans. Keep your what? Jeans in your jeans. What does jeans that mean? Jeans in your jeans. That's your advice. And it took me a few minutes to figure out what he was talking about, but he meant jeans as in DNA matter in jeans. Ah, oh, I see. It's his uh, clever way of saying, uh, you know, don't get yourself in one of these situations. Don't ejaculate inside a child. I see what he's saying now. Watch out! He's gonna gene in his jeans! Jesus Christ! Matthew, how'd he go at the house today? I'm just curious. I pulled up um, in front of the house, like she had, she had said, and got out, and she was coming out the door, and I saw she had a wig on. I was like, this is odd. I, mean, I had I had a little bit of suspicion before I even got there. This is probably Macintosh. Did you engage with the gentleman that talked to you? Yeah, yeah. What happens with that? I don't know. I'm just asking me questions about it. Just trying. I, I took it. I took offense to it. I thought he was trying to put me down. And I was going. I was going to walk out initially. After this, it's just deleted. I've been in a. Right, I don't need I don't to see two minutes struggle, of that. But... All right. What else we got? The cocaine predator. We've already seen that. Why is that re-uploaded? There's the resub Elgato and Ghost. Man vs. Beast 2. Okay, I'll cue that up. That sounds interesting. Then I'll watch a couple more Catch a Predators. The Bad Apple Police Officer. The polar bear guy? Which guy? Back at the undercover house, perverted justice decoys Holy are shit, chatting Andrew, what online is that? with some men who say they might come for a visit. We seen that kick? Fast mover somewhere in Central Jesus Florida, video? and we also have a guy that says he's somewhere between Daytona and St. Augustine that's talking about coming. But they don't call and aren't showing up, so we decide to shut down for the night. Unbeknownst to us, however, there is a man heading to our house, <laughs> all the way from the northern border of Florida, 350 miles away. Holy shit. We'll find out in a couple of hours that he's got more in his car than directions. He's 41-year-old Todd Spikes. Using the screen name Loves to Eat Your Peach, he chatted <laughs> regularly online for almost a month with a deep. That's a pretty cool name, though. 13. You're only 13? Damn, you're a little hottie. Hi, and thanks. Spike's chat is extremely... Nice work, Todd. ...to quote on television. He sends along pictures of himself masturbating. When the decoy tells Spikes she lives with her mother, Spike says he could become the mother's boyfriend. Oh, nice. ...live at their house and have sex with both of them. <laughs> I'm sure you do that time alone. Ew, but then you would have my mom's germs on you. I'd wash off before. Oh, okay, son. Spikes Todd. also tells the girl he wants to watch her perform oral sex on another man. The decoy is curious. Jesus Christ, Todd. Where are you going to find him? Probably the mall, or maybe on here, but the mall is a sure place. Just what? walk up to someone? Sure. Wow. What if they get mad or something? They won't. They jump at the chance to you. You will see. Spikes also tells the girl what he's done for a living. God damn, Todd. I used to be a cop. Was a cop for 15 years. Ah. But he tells her he quit being a cop to work in a I gotta tell you, I don't go to malls very often, but I can't imagine a lot of people jumping at the random 41 year old man asking if they want a blowjob. He responds, I won't, sweetie. I can't. I'd go to prison, and that's like a death sentence. Inmates hate cops, they try to kill them in prison. After all this, he's the he's not coming. Dicea and the Prime he's Extreme and Nate and Resub Fuzzy Wuzzy. When he arrives in the Flagler Beach area, he calls the decoy from a payphone. Perverted Justice alerts Officer Kevin Pineda of the Flagler Beach Police. Other officers back at the darkened undercover house and see Spikes driving by. He actually circled the house numerous times. Then as Spike seems to drive away, the police stop his car and place him under arrest. Really? As it turns out, 
We may have been lucky he never made it inside the house. After we actually took him out of the vehicle, uh, he advised us that he had firearm on him. That firearm happened to be a snub-nosed revolver in his front pocket. Holy shit. And ready to fire. But there's something else. He also had a badge which says he's an officer in Alabama. That's right. Spikes had gone back to being a police officer. Holy shit. He's brought back to the Flagler Beach Police Station. Outside the office, he looks like a pedophile from Alabama. Make another startling discovery an arsenal of weapons. Jesus Christ, he was going to war with children. Rifle that was leaning on the passenger seat. What was he doing? Trying to recruit them for his private militia? And the magazines, all he had to do was tap them in. With two clips of 30 bullets each. And that's just the beginning. Flagler Beach Police Chief Roger Free. You have a uh, 38 Smith and Wesson special there, a Glock 40 and a 45 caliber six hour. You have a 12 gauge shotgun back there. That along with about 800 rounds of ammunition. Is there any legitimate reason for a what the cop fuck? be driving around with all that firepower? Um, I now, appreciate it, Awaken. I yeah, of course I've seen no Takeshi's Castle at and all MXC. That you would have that much ammunition or the type of ammunition that he had. Spikes mm. also had three cell phones, two bulletproof vests, video and digital cameras and pornographic dvds my DVDs neighbor's daughter number board. seven Absolutely. literally a classic Absolutely. there was probably an angel sitting on everybody's shoulder that night i thought i'd give you a courtesy call and let you know we have arrested one of your officers chief free calls the police chief of spikes department in florala alabama free learns that spikes had just gotten his badge he said the guy just started working back for him, just finished up his uh, refresher course to, so he could come back into the uh, law enforcement. How does it still go on for another six no, minutes? The only thing I ask of you when you're in here is just not to make any sudden moves, you know, that right. drum, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if he will. Yeah. Other than giving his name and address, Spikes doesn't want to speak to Detective Williams. This guy looks like a psychopath. to talk to me? Yeah. No. And he doesn't want to speak to Dateline either. We're with Dateline NBC, and I just want to give you a chance if you wanted to say anything uh, about what happened tonight or anything else. Do you have There's the prime of Fiki, the recent turtle. The next evening, sheriff's deputies in Spikes County that, uh, serve a search only. warrant on his house. They take his computers, find even more weapons, and large plastic tubs filled with videotapes. What the nature of those videos are, we don't know yet. Okay, so they caught like an, a real fucking huge menace there. Damn. That guy came locked and loaded. Twink toilet? What does that mean? Meanwhile, back at the house, men continue to show up. Come on in. How you doing? Because I'm not Is that an undershirt or is that his suspect to come up to the bare chest and stomach? Locks the door. Which gives the Murphy police the chance to move in. Damn, they busted him. <laughs> oh. He came in shirtless. Just get him now, quick. And place him under arrest. Here, I got handcuffed. Oh, oh, he's not shirtless. It's just a skin-colored shirt. Into an interrogation room for questioning. This is 35-year-old Edward Hollingsworth. Online, he planned a date for sex with a boy who said he was 13. You cannot believe I did this. What's going on? My best friend's mom is dying of cancer. That's not a real excuse for it, but I wasn't in my right mind. Really? What? I'm stupid. I am deniably stupid for, for, for doing this. I, you know, it doesn't take an idiot to Thanks know that... Thanks to the tier one, Zaba. ...setting up things. But I wasn't Brian thinking, and, I, and, and to be honest, I, I, people say, well, you're thinking about sex. I wasn't even thinking about that. He I uses the screen that. name Twink Toilet. <laughs> Nearly hints at what he had in mind for the boy. You said... I see where it comes from now. ...by young boys. Is that true? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. And, it's, and if you read down further in the line, mm -hmm. it's fantasy. But explain to me what that means to be used by young boys. 
Used to I don't know. He wants to be shit on, bro. His name is Twink Toilet. He wants to be pissed and shitted on. Love getting freaky. Now, what does that last part mean? Again, fantasy takes over reality. I've never done really anything. I've done a little bit of the water sports, but oh, pee -pee. like I said, beyond that, I've not done anything. It's all talk. So once you get beyond that, I've never done it. I don't know if I would have done it. Do you remember during this chat? That he told Thanks you. He's a prime Twitch. Thing. Yes, quickly followed by Three my genius. Ichabod, Are you a cop? Dibbles. <laughs> and give something to Zaba. Um, or related. Or with the NBC show. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What did you Thanks believe? to Resub Krona. Now I'm hanging myself. Why? He, yes, I thought he was 13. It was fantasy. The decision to get in my car is the dumbest mistake in my life uh -huh. to this point. Yeah. Get on the ground. In the end, 25 men were... Damn. They were just afraid that he was gonna go in there and just start, like, pissing and shitting his pants with a name like that. Okay, so which one? Brian Lindzen? Have we seen this one? The Horny Level Predator? What is... The horny level predator. Uh, Doesn't ring any bells. With a 15 year old as jailbait. And jail is exactly where he's going. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. he's coming in. Whether near a big city Inver. or a rural area like Harris County, Georgia, lines of potential predators <laughs> find their way page. to our undercover houses. Meet 24. Open up, my horny level's at a 10. Because he was invited by a girl who said online she was 15. I gotta throw my clothes in the wash, okay? I made you some tea, Using the screen name B. Lindsay 01, he describes how he wants to what give it, the girl Why is this such sex. a common... This camera angle... Uh, PSA, I don't think I even need to say this, but don't take pictures like this. This is uh, abhorrent. I see this so often on Twitter from everyone that like is nothing but a shitty take factory. It's always a picture at this angle. I don't fucking get it. Just don't do it. Just in case there's anyone that needs to hear this, just don't fucking take a picture like this. This is literally like the pedophile's stamp. It's a terrible angle. It will never ever look good. The best looking man in the world could take a picture like this and it would look like a straight up butthole. It just, it's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible angle. I don't know who needs to hear it, but hopefully that was a wake up call to he somebody. He says, I can't control my horny level. Then he says, I want to blank your brains out. I can't help it. Uh, his horny level's now out of control then. two and a half hours to meet her. Have some tea if you want some. It's sweet tea, is that okay? Yeah, I already drank some on the way. Did you find the place okay? Yes, sir. Would you have a seat right over there, please? He can't sit down. His horny level is too high. Just driving around. Just driving around? Yes, sir. And why is he Thanks, just Hanson. driving around? Thanks, he says Drew he's been away Shamble. from Georgia for two years while serving in the United States Air Force. Uh -oh. He wanted to learn his way around again. How is that lesson going for you tonight so far? Not too good. Then he comes up with a completely different excuse. What made you drive into this driveway and walk into this house? I'm just asking for directions like... Oh, so you're lost? Yes, sir. But he drops that story mm. as soon as I read to him from his chat log. I take it you're a virgin. No, sir. Not you. I'm reading from the conversation between you and Natasha. <laughs> you say to her... Does that I look like a virgin, virgin to you, Chris? He no. Says, no, but I'm no... He's slamming oh, ham on the daily. We talk about oral sex in... Great detail. How you like to do it. Honestly, my intention was not to do anything like that because, hey, I know, it's jailbait. Jailbait. 24-year-old with a 15-year-old, that's jailbait. However, I do believe you can be friends with a 15-year-old and maybe go out and go bowling or something like that. Yes. But that's not what you talk about here. You don't talk about going out bowling. Or well, read further. He talks about bowling, I'm sure. This 15-year-old girl. Very popular. You talk about having sex with her. In great detail. I will get on there and I will speak inappropriate. Sometimes people will just talk about that. If you were here right now and wanted to, I would not deny you. I want to blank your brains out. Yeah, there, Bowl your brains there out. Is, Bowl a perfect game. Is there any other meaning for that? Yes. There's a difference Bowling between term. wanting to and actually doing it. It sounds like you sure wanted to based upon this. I can't control my horny level. <laughs> you see, during the conversation, you just masturbated twice. And it hasn't helped. <laughs> and I 
was lying. He was watching a Brunswick bowling montages. I mean, granted, yes, it's my fault, but did I actually fall into a trap? Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the internet and then try to meet them. Yes, sir. Now, everything you've just said has been recorded with our hidden cameras from the moment you pulled into the driveway. All I explained was I uh, did not come here with the intention of having sex. I came here with the intention of hanging out, doing, you know, talking a little bit, maybe go bowling, maybe she's in pool or something. Bowling, yes. Well, Brian, what should happen to you? We should go bowling. Well, honestly, uh... If I beat you in the this, lane, I get to go free. I think I should just be able to just be allowed to just go home. Like nothing ever happened? No, sir. Go home. Just take it as a lesson learned. Not to do it again. No such luck. Like all the other men who show up at this house, he gets arrested. While this former military Damn. man talked even after he knew he was being recorded... Should've just went bowling, bro. Alright. Well, they have full episodes on this channel. How many Catch a Predator channels are there? So there's Saul, and it looks like Max Cooper does the exact same thing, where he just uploads full episodes. Actually, not very many. Thanks for the reset, Plague Pause. And thank you for the bits, by the way. Brown and Mantikia. And Nazaba. And Brown again. I'm sorry I missed two of them from you, Brown. What is that, though, Indrik? Is it like a sketch or something? And thanks for the bits, Zaffins. I always fuck your name up. I'm sorry, Zaffins. Thanks for the prime. Hannah Squid and the resub CMD. And thank you for the five gift subs, Yoshi Master. Thank you for the generosity, man. The Confusion Predator. Usually when a visitor arrives, we know exactly who he is, based on his photo and information in his chat log. Oh, this is setting the four squares for the whole video. I'll pass. Hmm. The too fast predator. Split into four again. Postman predator? Have we seen that? Is this an outside sting operation? That's new. No, Here no, Jello. No, another no. man. Hey, come on up. I was just gonna go check the wage. Let's go. Okay. Is it tier one ass face? He's 53 year old Eugene Daly. Valorant Dale. Holiday. Here to meet a girl who told him she was 13. That. that sounds kind of boring. Online, like Valorant the game. Daly uses sexually explicit language to tell the girl what he wants to do when they meet. Play with you, hold you, kiss you, feel you. Kiss me where? All over. He then asks her if she's game for giving him oral sex. While we usually only have proof of intention, that was romantic, logs, Eugene. For the first time, we hear a man tell the decoy face to face what he plans to do with her sexually. You just relax, and I'll just take care of everything, okay? Mm -hmm. You just be yourself. I'll just touch and explain as I go. Tell me if you enjoy it. Did you like bring a condom or anything? I'm not going to do that today, okay? It was fast. Rush. I wasn't sure if you were real or what. I was, mm -hmm. I'm looking for police. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, you're not doing a good job of looking, <laughs> Eugene. Yeah. I just hold you, kiss you, touch you. Mm -hmm. You know, try to get you excited. Yeah. Is that okay? Have you, like, done that kind of stuff before? Sure, sure. Because I haven't really, you know. Yeah, I know. Like I said, just to, I'll take it easy on you. That's all, you know. Yeah, I mean, you seem like a nice guy. Oh, so yeah, I'm well, I can, I'm not sure. You know, I'm still more, I'm more scared than you are, to be <laughs> honest. What are you scared of? I don't know. You know, I still got in the back of my mind. You are young, that's why. And I, yeah. I didn't think you were real, to be honest. Thanks the prime game, boy. You didn't think I was real? <laughs> well, that can be anybody in that thing. Yeah, You'd be older and still have a young boy. Yeah. No, I'm real. Like, what do you mean, like, holding me? <laughs> It'll be an experience. It'll be something you'll enjoy. <laughs> Frag feeds Casey questions in her ear. Ask if he wants you to touch him. You want me to touch you? <laughs> what the fuck was you that? You don't want well, that guy might be a predator <laughs> too. <laughs> Ask him if he's single and if he'd like to meet me. Okay. But this 53-year-old man will not be taking any baby steps today. What's your father? How you doing? Okay. Mr. Police? What's going on? 
Do me a favor, take your hands out of your pockets, will you? Not much. Not much. What are you up to? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. It's not what you just said here. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I knew this was a setup. That's why I told you. It was the police. That's what I said. What made you think it was a setup? It was a hug. She's young. I wasn't going to do anything anyway. That's you weren't going to do anything anyway. Oh, no, no. okay. How old are you, Eugene? 43. 43. I mean, Sorry, 53, sir. 53? 53. 53, I'm sorry. You said 49 here. Yeah, that's, like I said. Uh, what are you doing chatting with a girl who says she's 13? Run, Eugene! No, Take off to the sea! It. You talk about her being the daughter... Pull like a David Hasselhoff and Spongebob had. and, like, missile out of there. You saw that in the chat room, I know. Huh? You know, this is embarrassing. This is what I knew what was going to happen. I knew it all along this was going to happen. All the way down, it kept on saying... Then why did you do it? Help me to understand. Know, I don't know. You know, I can kick myself in the f head, because I know I'm so... I'm so stupid. It's like uh, you even talk in the chat about you can only come over a half hour because you got to well, pick yeah. up your wife. Well, I wasn't gonna. You know, I was saying. Where's your wife? She's at work. She's, She's at work, work, and you yeah, got to go pick her up. And who knows? Who knows what? We can do it if it clicks. No. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. What's right here? <laughs> what do you do for a living? No. Right well. Now, I'm in between jobs. I just got finished working my my second tour due to the post office. So you were at the post office. Yeah. A letter carrier. Yeah. I knew, I knew, and I see the stuff on TV. So you've seen, you've seen Datelines to Catch a Predator. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why, why am I doing this? Why am I here? I'm being taped now, too. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, uh, and we're doing a story on uh, adults, on is, men, this is who go, try to meet kids online. Uh, this is going to go on TV now? Oh, Chris, please. This is a ruin, man. You made the decision to come over here. I mean, please, no more cameras. Please, Chris. I can't keep you here. Eugene, you swim away. He leaves the beach. They can't get cameras in the ocean. Down. Watch out. Down, 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 down. All right, come on. Down, down. <laughs> guy, come on, guys. All right, please. please. Oh, God. Why did they do this? Why, why, why? He is driven away in an unmarked car. And like all the men before and after him, Thanks to reset the salty. police station, put in a corrections van. Oh, maybe that'd do it, Yamel. Maybe that would be a good pick. And thanks to the tier one miracle whip. The sports enthusiast predator? Hmm, a sports fan, huh? You know what I haven't noticed? I haven't seen anything about a gamer predator. Let me see. Oh! Sports fans zero, gamers one. Take that, nerds. Scott, if you can hear me, you need to go to the door and let this guy in. Hey, come on. Back at the undercover house, our male decoy is greeting this 39 year old. He's a tier one supersonic and the tier one howdy rowdy. Online, Sorrentino, calling himself Italian lover 37, one has one of the Dykin shortest shrimp. and most direct chats we've ones. ever seen, with a decoy who tells him he's 14 years old. After just 10 minutes, Sorrentino writes, What are you looking for? I don't know. You? Well, hot sex, what else? <laughs> but soon, Whoa, okay, okay. Have you tried RuneScape? How do I know you're not a cop? Duh, I don't know. How do I know you're not my dad setting me up? Take that. Checkmate. The boy to call Get scholars to mated. To his house. A perverted justice decoy obliged. Three story tall, yellow house. And within 15 <laughs> minutes, Sorrentino is at the door. You can sit here if you want. Just sit down. You want something to drink or anything? No, I'm okay. You are a fast mover. Please have a seat right there. Just please, Sean. What are you doing here? Relax. Just calm down. Tell me what's going on. Hey, it's Brian Bean. It's gonna work. It's crazy, DJ. Oh, pretty good. What were you gonna talk about? No, I haven't seen that, Jomo. Baseball. Baseball. Football. Anything else? Hockey, bowling. You seem a little more nervous than somebody who is going to come over here and talk about baseball mm -hmm. or football. It's a now stressful season being a Cubs fan, fan Chris. And you thought it was okay at 39 to come over here and see a 14-year-old boy? Wow. Well, I'm just going to hang out. Yeah, you're never too young to watch sports, Chris. You exchange names and ages in about 45 seconds later, if that. You say you're looking for hot sex. What do you suppose would have happened if there was a 14-year-old boy here? Oh, no, willing I was, to have I was sex? Scared. You were scared. Yeah, Why would you be scared if you were just coming over here to talk? Because I, I, I'm, I just don't think I could have done it anyway. I mean, you get why this is yeah, um, wrong. Yeah. And you know, here in Florida, that's against the law, and you can go to jail for it because it's a felony. I didn't know that. 
Okay. You did not? No. Now, the other problem for you is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who Thanks try to reset kids Lilith. for sex online. Have you seen our stories before? Yeah. yeah. To Catch a Predator show? Yeah. So you've seen the show? Mm-hmm. Well, now you're on it. If there's anything else you'd like to He just to gives like a us, fist bump. Like to hear it if not. Nice. Clearly, you can go. Sorry. I just wish they didn't hear that. Outside, Sorrentino meets the Flagler Beach Police. On the ground, turn around, turn around. There's a tier one flapjack in the resub Dixon Cider. During a search of his car, police Thanks find confused. marijuana and condoms. Later, Sorrentino tells the investigator he has a mental illness. Well, I'm bipolar, so I'm on medication. For bipolar, okay. And have For you being taken too big of a sports today? fan. Yeah, I just take it at night. Then he explains how the online chat started. What about seeing him online made you want to talk to him? Oh, I just, because he was new, I'd never seen him online before. Okay. How long did it take before you found out that he was 14 or 15? He told me right away. Told you right away. Did that bother you? Yeah, it did. It did? Okay. Yeah. But still, you you came here and you you planned to have sex with Basically him. Basically, give some... I guess. Kiss, uh, in the prime I, uh, honestly, in the I was buttons. just really turned on, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I probably, you know, I mean, that's what I was thinking, I guess. I don't know what I was going to do. Sorrentino is charged with two felony counts, including attempting a lewd act upon a child. He also faces a misdemeanor charge for the marijuana police found in his car. He later pleaded not guilty. Hmm. And that's what happens. You watch one too many baseball games, next second you know, you end up on To Catch a Predator. Seen it happen a million times. Uh, what's another one that we haven't seen? The Pumped Predator? Here comes another man who's seen our previous broadcast. He's in the laundry room. Oh, maybe Jim He's up. in the kitchen coming towards the so living room. His name is Dallas Lee. He's been chatting online in an AOL gay chat room with a boy posing as a 14-year-old. It takes him less than seven minutes to ask the boy if he wants oral sex. The decoy says, okay, cool. And a few hours later, he's walking into our living room. Yeah. I'm finishing it right. Hang on. Thanks for the reset, Yeah. So you're pumped too, huh? Yeah. So what were you so uh, pumped for? <laughs> I don't know, too much. Did you have a seat right <laughs> on the uh, stool there? What you doing here? He invited me over. Who is he? Uh, Tony. Tony. Yeah. And how old is Tony? Mm, 14. What was your plan here with this 14-year-old boy? I mean, we talked about sex and stuff like that. and then, sure did. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, he's being honest. I got two kids of my own. We can hang out and stuff. And how old are your kids? My son is 19 and my daughter's 15. So your daughter is one year older than the boy you were coming mm-hmm. to visit tonight. Mm-hmm. Now, how would you feel if your daughter, at the age of 15, was home alone and a man came to visit her? Honestly, terrible. Yeah. Mm. You know. And so why is it okay for you? Depends on his screen name. You're absolutely here. right. Honestly, it's not. You know, but I, I was even, not even set the sex aside. He says he knows it looks bad, but he really wanted to be a father figure to the boy who told him he didn't have a dad. But if that's so, Aww. why did he tell the boy he was 20 years old when he's really 40? Why? If you're it's all part of being a good dad. His kid, as you have suggested to me, you were right. trying to do. Why would you tell him you were 20 and much closer to his age? Right. That's that's a mistake. As though somebody would do that exactly. if in fact they it's wanted the target exactly. to think they were younger and that. be comfortable to have sex. I understand. I understand what you're right? coming from. He also understands something else. As you sit so what here today, based mean? on this chat, based yeah, upon your arrival here, mm-hmm. you are every parent's worst nightmare. Exactly. I understand what you're saying. You're right. I guarantee it's never going to happen again. Yep. Well, it looks like that was the case. Well, that was underwhelming. I had nothing to do with being pumped. I thought that was going to be a good one. I was underwhelmed. 
The Bankrupt and the Math Teacher Predators. Was this a double whammy? Did they get another uh, double slam down, double patty? Obviously, you're free to walk out the door. We asked Walker to leave through what the back door Flicks? because out front is our next visitor. He's walking up the driveway. Go to position two. Open the door. Hello? Hey, what's up? When more than one suspect shows up at a time, it poses a challenge for the Long Beach police. We really had to keep close Make communication extra room with the in the cell, yeah. so they knew what was going on. Uh, one of the problems was if they would have came out from their hiding spot too early, the next predator coming up might have seen them and been scared away. For instance, hey, when 26-year-old Joshua Larios walks in the front I really door, thought that was Colin Farrell for one second. Visitor ...in the backyard before taking him in for processing. How was your drive? How's your bed? Larios chatted online using the screen name Downtown San Diego to a decoy who said she's a 13-year-old girl. Larios sends the girl pictures of his penis. Then he writes, Would you like to see in person? Later, he writes, <laughs> If you visit me, would you do anything I ask sexually? Yeah, I guess. Thanks Larios to the prime moral the support to Teresa Payton. In front of her father. I want you to let him catch you naked and see what he says. <laughs> Andy wants her to do something else in front of a school teacher. I want you to wear a skirt and no panties and let one of your male teachers see your legs open in class. Then Larios tells the girl about the sex acts they will perform together. He, she could just lie, here. right? And here he I let my dad see me naked. He said, Charlie, what the awesome. fuck is that little dick great. thing? Okay. I thought I raised you better than this. Meeting someone, awesome. he was told is this is what you wanted downtown San Diego? Sorry. <laughs> It's kind of weird. I haven't like done that. Here, you shake my hand. Oh, now, sir, come here for one second. As sir. soon as Larry O. sees Put him in a full Nelson, Chris. A beeline for his car. Take him. Take him. He's running. Because the police are busy with our earlier suspect <gasps> in the backyard, they can't catch Larry O's before he speeds away in his fifty thousand dollar Lexus. So an undercover police car follows him down the block. So what they did is they had a child running nearby the car, and he eventually pulled over. Squad car and gives up peacefully. We're code four on the stop, one in custody. Is arrested and brought to the processing center. He refuses to give the police any information without his attorney present. Uh, first, I need to know exactly what's going on. Okay. Larios and Walker were both charged with one count of an attempted lewd act on a child. Chase the prime one friend. Pleaded no contest. Mm, I don't know. Larios if faces if it's that an thing about the uncle. charge of attempting to send harmful matter. He pleaded guilty to both charges. A bit later on, the police bring in someone who never made it into the house. What do you want this gentleman? God, how many did they catch in one afternoon? Nagy, a waiter at a pizza restaurant who had a sexually explicit chat with someone who told him she was 12. He drove past as another suspect was being arrested in front of the house. That's when police took him into custody. In the chat, the girl wow. said that well, that's she one hell of an afternoon. That, uh, indicating that she was under the age of 14. I believe she said she was turning 13. At first, he insisted he didn't know how old she was, except for one thing. He brought her a birthday cake for her 13th birthday. <laughs> so when she confronted with that, it was hard for him to say he didn't know how old she was. No, 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 no. This is actually Later, for my dog. Nagy pleaded no contest. My dog loves, loves chocolate cake. On a child. And he's, you know, he's turning 13. In Long Beach, of the 38 men who were arrested, the district attorney decided to prosecute all but three. He told us that was because those three suspects either drove away or didn't come in when the decoy invited them. On top of that, the DA said their online chats may not have been graphic enough to prove intent. Damn. They caught three dudes in one afternoon from the same house. They, they really popped off on that. All right, we'll do one more and then switch the rabbit hole. Thanks to Prime, XQC, Play Variety, and Cronus. I already said I can't watch that Wanto. I can't watch like an actual like fight thing like that. Thanks to the Prime Heath. The Funky Predator? The Pretend Predator. Hmm. He was only pretending to be a pedophile, huh? He's sitting in the car in the front. It's busy at our undercover house in Long Beach, California. Okay, he's getting out of the car. Just stay tight the prime and we'll go to the front door. Remember, we asked our previous suspect to go out the back way so he wouldn't scare off our next visitor. Hi, how are you doing? Come on in. 
He's Paul Clemente, a 22 year old college student from San Diego. Clemente spoke online with someone he thought was a 13 year old girl. At first, Clemente says she's too young, but soon asks her if she's had sex and what position mm. she's used. Finally, he gets down to business. So when's the time I could come to your house? Of course, when your mom is not around. I'm asking when, so we can go out. Clemente asks if she's well, had very sex clear. in the hot tub. When the decoy answers yes, he writes back, You're making me horny. For good measure, he sends along this picture of his penis. <laughs> then he tells her something that really surprises us. You You're don't believe be me? Look first. at this. That's right. He may think she's 13, but he's the one who says he's a virgin. Now, the 22-year-old virgin is in the house. All right, can you pour me a drink really fast? Because... Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get my hair ready. I'll be right back. Take your time. I'm excited. He's gonna way. come into the fruit punch bowl. So Watch out. Too? How you doing? I'm sorry. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Please have a seat. I'm sorry. What were you doing here? She said so excited to see me. She said she was excited to see. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it until he said she was happy. Inside, outside, the Long Beach police decide this is a good time to sneak into the backyard and arrest our earlier visitor. What? They got two again? You didn't say anything bad. If he says he didn't say anything bad, what about what he showed her? Like the picture of his genitals. Did he at least give a thumbs up with the dick pic? You sent her that photograph. Sir, is that, did you send that to her? Yes, sir. To somebody who said she was a 13-year-old girl. Oh my God. You see, Chris, he actually knew it was you okay behind the keyboard and wanted you to sir, see his penis. She said it's okay. Right? She said it's okay. So because a 13-year-old girl says it's okay, you do it. Sir, please, I'm not, I'm not a really bad person, sir, please. As for that claim that he didn't say Major anything Prime, bad online, what about one telling her blade, he'll perform oral Sean sex on her, Logie. or asking if she's ever had anal sex? Have you ever had conversations like this with teenage girls on the internet before? No, this is my first time. Your first time. Yes. You know, I hear that a lot. Can you imagine why I'm a little skeptical on that? Sir, please. Well, virtually everybody who walks in this house says the same thing. I'm sorry. And I'm guessing that not everybody's telling the truth. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. And as we suspected, when Clemente first covered his face, he knows there are cameras in the house. Do you ever watch television? Yes, I know, sir. You know Every that. single one of them knows the show and still goes. Have you seen the show on television? Yes, a couple of times. A couple Sleep of well, time. Bucket. And you know what the show is called? Dateline. Dateline what? To catch a predator. Sir, I'm not a pretty predator, sir, but I'm just... You're not a real predator. No, sir. Just, just a pretend predator. No, I'm just... Curious. He's cosplaying as a predator, a curious Chris. predator. I'm not a really predator, sir. So you saw those other shows we did. Yes, sir then you probably know that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC and, yes, and you know the story we're doing. Yes, sir. So, if there's anything else you'd like to tell us, we'd like to hear it. If not, you can walk out the door you came in. Yeah, please, I'm um, just, I'm sorry. And since he knows about our lucky. investigations, he probably knows what to expect when he steps outside. Put your hands up. I'm not a criminal, sir. Put your fingers. I'm not a criminal, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Clemente is arrested and charged with an attempted lewd act upon a child. He later pleaded Damn, no Paul. contest. Both he and our earlier oh, and the other guy. who was in the backyard are led away to be processed. We never even saw the other guy. Boy, all things considered, Paul got off pretty easy. He never actually had to go to jail. So it wasn't terrible for him. Oh. Next rabbit hole you should look down is odd 911 calls. Where would I, f well, what would I even start with for that? Do one with a girl predator? Yeah, we can try that. We actually haven't seen a single female predator. <clears throat> uh, is it this one? Have they ever had a female predator? Thanks for the five gift subs, high guy. And the tier one rapidless. Thank you, high guy.
What would I tell you? Give me the name of one of them and I'll look it up, but I, I haven't seen one. And also, according to Twitter, women can't be predators or pedophiles. Thanks to the resub Rising Beast and Snort G Fuel. And the Prime Javelin. We're not watching the fucking penis pump predator. I'm not taking the risk. Even the blurred photos of that are going to be like a little too much, I would imagine. Be like nine different like air horns and stuff around a penis. No, this is a Catholic chef Vortevask is an innocent Yeah, see, it's man. this guy. I think. I think it's this I mean, I imagine it is. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you, Macaw, for the 25. Cleanest, best, pleasure predator? That sounds a little aggressive as well, man. I don't know. Thanks to Prime Francis. I don't plan it out, thanks. We'll see. Air hockey championships? Maybe in a minute. I want to see if there's a single one with an actual, like a female predator on this show. I don't think there is, but someone has said there is, so I'm waiting to see. Vampire Predator, what the fuck? <sighs> Alright, I have to watch this. God damn it. Alright. Last one, and then we'll go to something else. This is just such a cool title. Hey, how you doing? You act like this is some big joke here. These were people that were in the shadows, and now they have been exposed. Thanks my to Reese Astro and the Tier 1 Pog Bubba. At what we saw happening, I Thanks believe Astro. that we would have had some young child. Are you sure it's okay, Macaw? Mac Are you sure it's okay, Macaw? Fine, I'll look at next. You're not a real predator. Oh, Just a pretend predator. Men targeting children online. A field trip in Florida. So you drove 60 what miles I to see a 14-year-old girl. A repeat rendezvous in California. All right, I don't need the lore update. <laughs> There could have California, where the law. Predator. Go. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stone Phillips. And and Prime Silver goes spread the recent time, decimation. We're in Long Beach, California, where the long arm of the law has reached out and grabbed more than three dozen men in just three days. This time, someone. God, just show me the vampire. Post what do we have coming up right now? Here we go. That's our avalanche. That's our 1230, like 29 yep, years old. That is a vampire. We've always been aware that the men coming into our undercover houses could be dangerous. Now stay there. We don't want to send you out yet. We, well, we never knew we faced the paranormal. To catch a predator operation in Long Beach, California, the very first man who arrives has us especially worried. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. Here he comes. He's coming. Head to position three. 29-year-old Michael Warriker, an unemployed computer technician, uses the frightening screen name, Can I Rape You Anally? <laughs> he thinks he's Holy to shit. a girl who said she was 13. Jesus okay, Christ, open Mike. Here, open up the door. What Warriker apparently Damn. doesn't know is he's really been chatting That's with aggressive. an adult decoy from Perverted Justice. That's an online watchdog group Dateline uses as that a That definitely looks like one of those edgy Among Us names. Ducks, go into chat rooms, mostly on Yahoo and AOL, set up computer profiles, and and in this case, pretend to be children under the age of 14 who are you, interested in sex. Well, thanks to the okay, Prime Beta. Cool. In his online chat, Warwicker tells the decoy, maybe we should hook up, and says he would like to have anal sex with her. Ah, uh, true says, to his name, then. I think that would hurt a lot. Warwicker responds, yeah, but it's a good pain, you know. Now, Warwicker is at thanks the door. Hi, how you doing? Being met by a youngish looking 18 year old decoy playing the girl who's supposed to be home alone. Can you sit down? And it's time for me to have a chat with him. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Though my arrival doesn't seem to phase him one bit. This is punk, right? Yeah. What are you doing here? Hanging out. Hanging out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I knew that this was a setup because this was too convenient for this. What was too convenient? A chat room and just uh, talking about everything that uh, she did. And how old was this so-called person we're talking to? She said she was 13, but... She said she was 13. And how old are you? I'm 29. And you thought it was okay to come over here and be there? So why is he called the vampire predator? At the age of 29. And hang out, yeah. 
That's all you're going to do is hang out. That's what I, I told her, yes. Yeah. yeah. But remember, we have his chat log, where he writes to someone who says she's a 13-year-old female, I like rape. Jesus Christ. Creepy. Worker explains that he doesn't really want to rape her, just rough sex. I'd want you to resist and pretend you didn't want it and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, pretend. I mean, how could you not want sex from this guy? Screen name. Can yeah, I just yeah, just pretend you, you don't like it. Um, I guess responses. Do you think rape is funny? No. Then why would you do this? It's just something that I like to put myself into that role and talk about. You know? Worker also put yourself into the role of a rapist. Tie the girl down while they're having sex, and it gets scarier when he goes on to add, "I might want to cut you a little, suck on your blood." Oh, I see. Loud. A, a trait that, that that I look for is you know they enjoy a a, a little bit of pain here and there. You know, the, the, yeah. don't act like you've ever had sex before. Man. Fucking liar. How many times have you had a conversation like this and actually met somebody? You watched and one weird hentai and thought you were the man. No. No. I just thought it'd be cool, you know, to hang out because I had thought it'd be cool to come over here me. after having a chat that went somewhat like this. So if I wanted to bend you over and just shove it in your ass and it hurt pretty bad, you wouldn't do anything, would you? Yeah, I would scream and try to hit you. <laughs> Well, you act like this is somebody to joke here. Well, sir, um, I... I mean, I, these are I your words, that, not mine. I'm not making this up, right? This is the stuff yes, you said. That's correct. To somebody who said she was a 13-year-old girl. Yes. What do you do for a living? Um, actually, right now, I'm unemployed. Unemployed. Um, I got an, a, a small um, inheritance a uh, year ago and sort of... Makes the prime sphinx, the resub fund. I'm, I'm almost out of money Trinthier. now. Trinth here. Time to get back to it's work. Back. Yeah, it's back to work. Walker tells me he's brought along a scary movie to watch with the girl. Yeah. A video yeah. camera and lubricant. Yeah, video cam. Is this any way for a 29-year-old man to be here? This guy brought a whole little uh, party bag. Um, sometimes. Uh, I'm Chris Hansen okay. with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults mm -hmm. who try to pick up young boys and girls online for sex. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else you want to tell us about why you're here and what you've been doing, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're Would you like to confess to a rape as well? And just outside, and just the Long Beach really police eat all the charges here. He is charged with an attempted lewd act upon a child. Under California law, attempting to have sex with someone under the age of 14 is a felony, punishable by up to four years in prison. Worker pleaded no contest. He's a tier one Ugg in the He's prime the first Reaper. in a long line of men who will be arrested by Jesus the Long McCaw Beach Police Department over the next generosity. three days. All right, last to last to catch a predator. Last one. Okay, this this better be a banger, Macaw. I'm making an exception because I said this would be the last one. I'm actually gonna look this up on the other monitor just because the title is so aggressive. <laughs> Okay, it's probably fine. The cleanest best pleasure predator, aka the perfect buddy predator. <laughs> I a lot of things can be said about you know, a predator, but let this not be said that he is a dirty predator. He looks very clean and well kept. Makes the prime silver. The bitch H was a buddy. Was he a Cody, he's a uh, parolee. We know before Cody Green even gets there that he could be trouble. He's got a, a history with police. He was on uh, probation for drunk driving. He's the tier one Tony Tone. He tells me in our discussion oh, well, you, that he got into trouble again for, I guess, leaving the scene of an accident. And um, here he is, about to get in trouble yet another time. He's not coming for the handcuffs, he's coming he for the other thing. He wants to meet Chris Hansen. Cody Green shows up Oh, he's got a baggy movie. shirt on. Expensive. That's early 2000s fashion, baby. Maddie. Hey, I'm up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop into the washer. What's up, Slim Shady? Come on in. He comes in, he's got his cap the on. The perfect buddy. He's his dream date. Yeah, I made some tea and it's on the table. This man just perpetually friend zones himself. Did you bring me my chocolate? Oh, he's going in. Hey. Why don't you just step right over there, please? Should I have a seat right in that chair? Please sit down. 
I'm in the green with it, so I swear. To I, I, need, I need you to sit down and you can tell me all about it, I promise. Thanks for Please, sir, I really drove this far for no reason. You drove this far for no reason? Yes, sir. I swear to you, I asked her, and I swear to you, I asked her this. I you asked you asked who? I asked Maddie. T -t Take your time. I'm going to let you explain the whole thing. Yes, sir, it's fine. I said, if this is really not what you're looking for, I really want you to tell me that. Because I will come over and I will, I swear, I will just be with you and I will not touch you or anything like that. What? Is what I said, and I can prove that to you. I will show it to you. You'll show me how. Please, I really, I swear, sir. What the I'm fuck is he talking about? Person. I need a girl in my life, and I'm, if she really wanted to be my friend, that would be all I needed for her. I've never hurt anyone. I've never done anything. I would not have hurt her. Now, what did you bring with you? That's food. some Tommy like Wiseau shit right there. He's most likely there to get food for the deep I would not I hurt her. Oh, hi, Chris. Voice crack. And oh, hi, Chris. That, yes, sir. That's <laughs> there what we go. I told her I was bringing. What about condoms? Yes, sir. I have them also, but that was not my intention. I swear to you, sir. What were you going to use the condoms for? She told me to bring them also. So you did everything just because she told you? Yes, to. sir. I swear to you that is the reason for it. Then why did you send her pictures like this? Because she asked me to. She asked you to uh -oh. send her pictures. She asked me to send it's her fault. pictures, I know. Right. So there's a big difference between sending a photograph of yourself and sending pictures of your genitals. It's not like the decoys are asking to be sent these pictures. Oh, yes, I mean, they are, Chris. I mean, look at them. Who doesn't want to see his dick? Did you say you are ready to have my thang in your mouth? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what do you mean by that? My penis, Chris. It, my thang. Are you ready to have my in your mouth? Yeah. I, I keep that. It? I keep that dick on because me. Because she was. That cock. She was going with it. She was. Oh, so she wanted it. That's what it it's seemed like fault. to me. She says, "You don't mind? I'm a virgin." You say, "If you don't mind me taking it from you, I actually would love it and never have been with a virgin." I know it's not respectful, but I was just asking her if she wanted to do that or not. This is not even like I was just looking for girls that were this young and. I was looking to get in trouble and everything like this because I was telling her this. I was like, this Thanks is illegal one toast in the prime on phone conversations, on, online, and stuff like that. And I was like, you swear to me, you're not going to get me in trouble. And I swear I will never so she's disrespect a, she's you. So she's a liar? What I was pretty much well, let's arrest to. her. So you're the victim here. Yeah. No, sir, I'm not the victim. I came Put here that girl in cuffs. For, yes, for reasons like that. But if she really didn't want it, sir, I swear to you, I would have never tried it. But if she was open to the idea, yes, you would have had sex with a 13-year-old girl. Probably, yeah. Why? Because it's so alluring to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? It's just something that you, you'll probably never have again. That would be probably the cleanest, best pleasure, I would say. The cleanest, <laughs> best pleasure yes, sir. is to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Holy shit. Well, this guy's yes, probably still in jail. Do you any girls who are 20 years old? No, sir. I really can't. You got that nice truck out there? Yes, sir. Got the clothes thing going on? That's, that's material, sir. Girls, girls look deeper for what they want in guys. Well, there's something you got to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Yes, sir. Have you seen one of our computer predator shows before? Did he just give a... This is one of them. We'll did he just give a, <laughs> one of these to, to the, the camera? For sex. Did I see that correctly? If there's any... Have you seen one of our computer predator shows before? Oh, fuck yeah, he did. This is one of them. We're doing stories on adults who try to meet teens on the internet nice. for sex. Man, it's going down in style. If there's anything else you want to tell us, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to walk out that door. Hey, take it easy, uh, Slim Shady, clean, clean man. Perfect buddy, whatever. Get him! Freeze, Quick, freeze, before he makes up. a mixtape! At this track, on stop him! Hey man, what the fuck was that for? I'm just watching. I didn't I didn't do anything. It looked like Cody Green was planning to spend the night. I mean he had spare clothes, condoms, you know, everything was there. Watch this. Follow him, follow him. He is not backing down, Cody Green. You know. Hey. He's never man the finger. He's defiant till the end. Put your right hand for 
Thanks to Prime Fire and the gifts of Tommy. Eh, not really pink converse. I mean, I guess a little bit. I'm gonna need you to take a shower, shampoo. Not wrong, and salty and Mickey. Put on one of the black and white uniform. Um, I mean, you get caught once. You take your punishment, you get some help, and you move on with your life. But you get caught twice. I mean, that raises serious questions about your ability to be rehabilitated. They got him. I think a lot of these guys, once they're caught, realize hey, welcome back. how stupid Thanks for the bits dongly and it was for them to do it. Some of these guys just don't ever think it could happen to them. Police, FBI, they do these investigations across the country every day, but they can only be in so many places. So the odds are overwhelmingly in the potential predator's favor of not getting caught. In spite of the challenges, we still have... Oh, they had a whole conclusion to this guy's guys? story. Sure. I'll leave it up to chat. Do we let the lore play for Cody, or do we just go to the next set of rabbit holes? Congratulations, Minus, on the big pull, man. That's overwhelmingly in favor of lore. Okay. Four days? Some of these guys got, you know, four years or more in prison. If it's a boring lore, we'll just switch. Well, he didn't make it very long. Um, here he is, about to get in trouble yet another. Those are deeper for what they want back. Damn, so this guy is are you ready to have constantly getting himself arrested for well, never disrespect being you. a pedophile. to smash that like button and thumbs up, ring the bell, tell your mom I said hi. Yeah, that's about it. See ya.